In the last couple of months, I've made several videos highlighting some of the really cool shell utilities on Linux, and you guys have asked for more. So continuing along in this series of videos, today I wanted to highlight three rather simple shell utilities that you will find very useful. Those utilities are Shuff, Sort, and Unique. So let me switch over to my desktop, and I've opened a terminal, and I've zoomed way in, so hopefully you guys can read the commands I run today. Let's start with the shuff command. What is shuff? It generates random permutations. Basically, it takes whatever input you give it, and it shuffles things around so they're in a random order. For example, if I ran shuff on my dot bash rc file it takes my bash rc and it reorders the lines it shuffles the orders of the lines in a random sort of way so it just mixes everything up now if i wanted to do uh, something a little more useful i would do something like sequence 10 take a, a list of numbers 1 through 10 right i get a sequence and maybe i want a random number 1 through 10 well i could do shuff and i get a random order but i could do shuff dash n for the number of occurrences and i only want one random number sequenced 1 through 10 and there you go if i ran that again you know, it would always be a random number, 1 through 10. And of course, you don't have to do just one random number. Maybe I want five random numbers of 1 through 10. Or maybe I want five random lines from my dot bash rc, if I can spell. And then I just got five lines randomly selected from my bash rc outputted here in the terminal. Now, of course, you can run the shuff command on a file and then have it output to a new file. For example, uh, let me create a file. I'm going to get a sequence of numbers, 1 through 10 again. And let me write that to a new file. I'm going to call it test.txt. And then what I could do is I could shuff test.txt and then give it the dash O flag for output. I want you to output the shuff on the test.txt to a new file, test2.txt. And then if I cat test2, you can see that it wrote the output from this to that test2.txt file. Another example of shuff is shuff dash n for number of occurrences. I want three occurrences this time, and then I'm going to give it the dash i flag, and this is an inclusive range, and the range I want is 1 through 10, and then I'm going to give it dash dash repeat, meaning I don't mind if uh, we have repeated instances in the shuffle. And if I run that, it takes the numbers 1 through 10. It takes a range of numbers 1 through 10. It shuffles them and gives me three occurrences. And you can see we can get a repeated occurrence. If I didn't want it a, a repeated occurrence, if I wanted only unique numbers, I would get rid of dash dash repeat and run that same command. The next command I want to talk about is the sort command. What is the sort command? It sorts lines of text. So an obvious example, let's sort my uh, bash rc file. And it does this alphabetically of course so it basically took every line of my bash rc and reordered it alphabetically and if you wanted to you could give it the dash r flag for a reverse alphabetical order now the end of it is a bunch of spaces but if i keep scrolling back up you can see it reversed the orders of the lines now if i ran a man page on sort here you can see there's uh, several flags with sort some of the more common ones include the dash f flag that's the ignore case flag so it, uh, it folds lowercase to uppercase characters another common one is the dash i flag for ignore non-printing characters so if you're outputting something that has a, a bunch of non-printable characters the dash i flag will get rid of the the non-printable garbage from the output one interesting thing you can do with sort is you can give it a field separator kind of like you do with awk you give awk a field separator and then based on that field separator you pull out a certain column with sort you give it a field separator and then sort by whatever column you tell it to sort by. For example, if I want to do this command here, I could do sort and then dash T, and this is for field separator, and we're going to use a colon as a field separator. And then I'm going to give it the dash K flag, and then I'm going to give it a number of uh, the column that I want to sort. I want you to sort by the third column. And then we need a file, and the obvious file to do this on would be slash etsy slash pass WD, because that particular file is nothing but colon separated values. So if I run that, it sorts that file by the third column, which the third column is nothing but numbers. It starts at zero and then goes all the way to uh, 65,000 here. And it sorted them based on the third column, not the first column. If it sorted by the first column, it would be by name. And you can see it definitely sorted by the first column. If I wanted to, 
I could sort by the first column just to show you the difference, or any other column if I could sort by the second column, but the second column is all the same value, it's all a X. Probably one of the most common uses of sort is sort with the dash U flag for unique. So if I did a sort on my uh, dot bash RC one more time, but this time I'm going to give it the dash U flag for I only want unique lines. So there's several things in my bash RC that probably appear many times, things like if and fi, you know, for if statements, that's the beginning and ending of an if statement. And if I sort these lines, and if I go alphabetically up, you know, I see one occurrence of fi. Now, I know in my bash rc, there's probably a dozen different occurrences of fi at the beginning of a line. <laughs> So it only gave me one instance of it and instead of a dozen instances of it. If I ran that command without without the dash U, you'd actually see this in action. Let me scroll back up to where FI is. Yeah, you see there's actually four appearances of FI, three appearances of uh, spaces with a FI. So the dash U flag just gets rid of the duplications. And just like the shift command had dash O for output, you also have dash O for output with sort. So if I did sort, well, sort my uh, dot bash RC and then dash O for output. We want to write that to test 2txt Remember, that was a random order of 1 through 10 earlier. But now if I catted test 2txt now it's actually my bash RC that was sorted. Another cool thing you can do with sort is you can actually do kind of a shuff with sort. You can do sort with the dash R flag for random. So if I did sort dash R on my bash RC, it shuffles the lines randomly. Except it's not necessarily random because you do get groupings like this where you get a lot of uh, FI statements together. So it's not exactly like shuff. It's kind of close, but if I did man on sort to see what is going on with the dash R flag, uh, you can see it's a random sort, but it does group identical keys. So it's not quite as random as shuff. So now we've talked about shuff, we talked about sort, let's briefly cover unique, which is U-N-I-Q. And typically with unique, you use unique in conjunction with sort. Typically you run sort and you pipe it into unique. So if I wanted to sort my dot bash RC and then pipe that into unique, what this does, it sorts alphabetically my bash RC and then it removes the duplicated lines by piping it into the unique command. And if I give you an example of how that worked, you remember I had four different instances of FI in this file, but now I only have the one line returned because again, with that command, we piped it into unique, we got rid of the duplicated lines, only unique lines are returned. Now typically, this sort and then piping it into unique with no other flags, typically you don't want to do this because honestly, you could just do sort dash u because remember the unique flag with sort it actually accomplishes the exact same thing remember we only have now one instance of fi so again you only get the one instance of each line it gets rid of the duplications but some of the flags that you will often use here with unique uh, typically you'll sort something and then pipe it into unique and you'll give it the dash u flag and what this does is it only returns unique lines and i don't mean uh, it only returns unique lines one time i mean if the line is duplicated it it doesn't return any of them. So now when I sort this, if I go into the Fs because it's alphabetical, there is no Fi anymore, right? It got rid of that because it appeared four times. It's not unique. It doesn't return any of them. It only returns absolutely unique lines. And if I wanted to do this in reverse, I could give it dash D for only return duplicated lines. And these are the four lines in my bash RC that uh, appear several times. You got spaces and then the closing brackets or braces there and then FI with the spaces in front of it and FI at the beginning of the line. Another very useful flag is the uh, dash C flag with unique. So if I do uh, unique dash C here, what this will do is it will give me a number of occurrences for each line. So it prints out every line, but it gives me how many times that line appears in the document as far as the duplications. You see FI appears four different times. FI with the spaces in front appears three different times. Now that's really useful, especially if you want to sort by the most frequent number of occurrences. How you would do that is you would sort it and then you would pipe it into unique with the C flag and then once again pipe it back into sort and give sort uh, the dash N flag and the dash R flag for reverse for number of occurrences in reverse. And if you do that, now it should sort by the frequency. So if I get to the very top here, you see uh, a blank line, an empty line was 48 times, and then the next uh, most frequent line was the FI line. 
And let me clear the screen. So that was just a little bit of what you can do with Shuff, Sort, and Unique. They're very simple utilities, but very powerful. They allow you to do a lot of cool things and manipulate text, and they're very useful in shell scripting. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I'm talking about Epsy, Gabe, James, Mitchell, Paul, Wes, Akami, Alan, Chuck, Kirk, David, Dylan, Gregory, Heiko, Mike, Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Polytech, Raver, Red Prophet, Scott, Stephen, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about Shuff, Sort, and Unique would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. It's just me and you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to support me, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.